सिंपल केस लेट डोंट एक्सपेक्ट वेरी हाई लेवल आई एम जस्ट डिस्कसिंग टू द सिंपल केस लेट केस लेट इज गिवन दिस इज वन ऑफ द यू कैन से टू बाई थ्री टू कॉलम्स आर देयर एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री एक्स फोर एक्स फाइव एक्स सिक्स टोटल सिक्स नंबर्स आर देयर कॉलम वन थ्री नंबर्स कॉलम टू अगेन थ्री नंबर्स आर देयर एक्स वन एक्स टू अप टू एक्स सिक्स आर सिंगल डिजिट नंबर वट इज दिस इज फर्स्ट कंडीशन इफ दिस इज नॉट गिवन क्वेश्चन विल बिकम मच ओपन दिस इज फर्स्ट कंडीशन और फर्स्ट कंस्ट्रेंट टू दिस क्वेश्चन दिस सिक्स नंबर विल बी ओनली फ्रॉम जीरो टू नाइन इन डेसिमल सिस्टम वी हैव टोटल टेन ऑप्शन ओके जीरो टू नाइन नेक्स्ट इट इज रिंग इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो देन जीरो इज ऑल्सो आउट मीन्स टोटल वी हैव नाइन ऑप्शन नाइन इनपुट सिक्स आउटपुट वी हैव मेक फ्रॉम ओपन ट्रायल एंड एरर टू कंडीशनल ट्रायल एंड एरर सेकेंड पॉइंट एनी टू नंबर आउट ऑफ सिक्स मे बी इक्वल और डिफरेंट इट मे बी इक्वल इट मे बी डिफरेंट इफ दिस कंडीशन वुड बी गिवेन ओनली डिफरेंट देन इट वुड बिकम मच इजी देन आउट ऑफ नाइन नंबर विल नॉट रिपीट एनी सिक्स नंबर वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट करेक्ट एंड बेस्ड ऑन द अदर कंडीशन वी हैव टू सेटिस्फाई अवर सेलेक्शन बट इज टेलिंग इट मे बी इक्वल और डिफरेंट ऑल्सो देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट कंडीशन इज एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू प्लस एक्स थ्री इक्वल टू सिक्स एंड एक्स फोर प्लस एक्स फाइव प्लस एक्स प्लस सिक्स इक्वल टू नाइन दिस ओनली वेरी बेसिक केस लेट टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द कॉन्स्टेंट सम नाउ फर्स्ट डिडक्शन वॉट वी विल डिडक्ट आफ्टर सींग द क्वेश्चन दिस इज गिवेन एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू प्लस एक्स थ्री इक्वल टू सिक्स दैट इज योर कॉन्स्टेंट सम दिस सम इज कॉन्स्टेंट ओनली थिंग इज एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री वी डोंट नो दैट वी हैव टू टेक फ्रॉम वन टू नाइन बिकॉज इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो मिनिमम वैल्यू विल बी वन एंड मैक्सिमम वैल्यू विल बी फोर सिंपल डिडक्शन वेरी सिंपल मीन्स वी कैन राइट दिस इन दीज ऑल वे वी शुड नॉट इग्नोर एनी ऑफ द पॉसिबिलिटी इट इज नॉट अ पी एन सी क्वेश्चन वन लाइनर यू जस्ट अप्लाई सम फॉर्मूला आई दर जीरो वन मेथड और सम सी और फी यू विल गेट द सोल्यूशन नो दिस इज लॉजिकल रीजनिंग यू हैव टू कंसिडर ऑल द पॉसिबिलिटीज यर नंबर ऑफ सोल्यूशन दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू आस्क दे आर दे आर गोइंग टू आस्क सीनेरियो वॉट इज द एग्जैक्ट सीनेरियो बेस्ड ऑन दैट एनी पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू वॉट कैन बी पॉसिबल देन एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू प्लस एक्स थ्री इट कैन बी वन प्लस वन प्लस फोर then total three possibility you will get in this scenario if x1 x2 x3 you are varying like x1 equal to 4 x2 equal to 4 or x3 equal to 4 three scenario will be there 1 plus 2 plus 3 equal to 6 or through pnc also you will able to understand why three scenario because all three are different due to it will be three scenario uh this 4 1 1 1 this two are same and we can simple say three factorial divide by two factorial you will get the Three possibilities. One plus two plus three, all three are different. Then six possibilities and two plus two plus two, it will be one possibility. This is our first deduction. Second deduction for second column: x four plus x five plus x is equal to nine. That is constant sum. X four x five x is cannot equal to zero. Then minimum value one, maximum value seven. We can just count all the possibility: one plus one plus seven, one plus two plus six, one plus three plus five, one plus four plus four. This like all possibility will come. Total twenty-eight possibilities will be there. It should be total twenty-eight possibilities should be there through formula. You can understand, but don't apply here all formulas only. Through formula, you can re-verify your analysis if it is needed. But you explore all the possibility. This question is simple. This case rate is simple. Just I am showing you how constant sum. Now here, if I will put one or one condition more, case rate will become tough. If I will put two condition more, case rate will become very tough. If I am adding here whatever condition has given for x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, if one condition more, case rate will become tough. And I think if you are if you are aware about the CAT paper or other exam paper, this type of questions are asking in almost every exam. Only they will put more condition. If I will put two more condition, putting the condition will be easy, but question will become very tough. Question means lot of analysis will be needed. Due to I am starting with less condition. Next case late just after this, I will put little more condition. Then you will feel the simple concept how it will become tough. The simple concept, constant product or constant sum, how it can become more difficult. 
1 plus 1 plus 7, these are all possibility we can count. It will be total 28 possibilities and uh, minimum will be 1, maximum will be 7. Now question will be how many different value of x6 can be possible? How many value will be possible? x6 minimum can be 1, maximum can be 7 because question is telling any of the value can be equal or different also. Then x1, x6 minimum value can be 1, maximum it can go 7, then total 7 value will be possible. Simple. Find minimum and maximum difference between x3 and x5. Here order is not given in question. Means only you should not consider x3 minus x5 or x5 minus x3 between x3 and x5. Means both of the things we have to consider. This is here catch. If many of the times we will just take only one order, only x3 minus x5, then we will get wrong answer. We should consider all the possibility that is first criteria of LR. We should not leave any of the possibilities. Minimum value x3 can be 1 and x5 can be maximum value can be 7 then minimum minus maximum will give you the minimum value minus 6 similar way this we are considering x3 minus x5 x3 maximum value 4 minimum value of x5 is 1 maximum value 3 if we considered x5 minus x3 then minimum value of x5 1 maximum value of x3 will be 4 it will be minus 3 and similar it will be 6 what will be the answer? Answer will be this and this. Minimum value minus 6, maximum value 6. Now we will come to the question number 3. That also will be easy. Little, little you can say you have to do mental exercise. If minimum value of xi i equal to 1, 2, 3 from column 1 is interchanged with maximum value of xj where j equal to 4, 5, 6 from column 2, find difference between xi and xj. If any one minimum value of any x1, x2, x3 means this column 1, if you are interchanging with any of the value which are having maximum of the column 2, then what will be the difference between x i and x j? What can be the net transaction? If a minimum value is going from column 1 to column 2, then it will go 1 plus 1 go from column 1 to column 2. If maximum value coming from here to here, it will come plus 7. What is net transaction? Minus 6. Net transaction is minus 6 for column 2. And for column 1, it will be plus 6. Means so we can say for column 2, net transaction is minus 6. And for column 1, net transaction is plus 6. For column 1, 1 has gone, 7 has come. Finally, 6 has gained. For column 2, 1 has come, 7 has gone, 6 has lost. Now, just suppose if this same thing, generally question, cat level question, what will happen? They will ask 2-3 operation together. If we are doing 2-3 operation together or repeatedly, then question will be how much analysis will be needed? How much analysis will be needed? If you are not able to visualize the transactions between column 1 and column 2 very clearly. Then here just we can say column 1 out 1 in 7 net plus 6 means it will be equal to 12 because earlier it was 6. Now they are gaining 6 it will become 12. Column 2 out 7 in 1 net is minus 6 earlier it was 9 minus 6 equal to 3. Difference will be 9. All questions was easy all three question but concept was constant sum you thought question will be like this only just just will extend the idea for constant product or maybe constant sum also if we will put little more condition question will become cat level today i am giving you just idea about the lr caselet due to i have not kept tough caselet just suppose constant product a into b equal to constant and this we are much familiar in arithmetic this is inverse proportionality, a speed distance time, area based question, expenditure, time and work, pipe and cistern, everywhere we are using A into B equal to C. And this one small statement or one small equation, how much, how much uh, making trouble for us? How much trouble? Because many of the questions will become so, you can say very complicated, complicated in the sense it will consume a lot of time related to circular rays, related to a speed distance time. Finally, you have to apply this equation only. 
and this is a constant product if we are looking in different angle it is a constant product product of two variable is constant if product of two variable is constant and can make that much trouble then if product of three variable is constant then what will happen and from here lr part will start for quant per quant point of view it is a little application mainly we are using volume it is a length into width into height it is only you can say three here we are using multiplication of three variable or you can say if volume is constant for two different type of 3d figures or two different type of uh, two different situations then how we will able to correlate among length width and height how it will change a into b equal to constant then we know if a is increased by 1 by x then we will decrease by 1 by x plus 1 we know if a is increased by 20 percent it will decrease by we know like 100 to 120 if it is increased by 20 percent then it will decrease by accordingly we know it is very familiar but if three variable is there how to deal with i think nobody thought about that a and b pe hum log attack gaya. Just to think, if length is changing, then in which proportion width and height should change to keep volume constant? And LR part will start from here. Although LR are not using very high level of concept of product, constant product, they are using basic concept. They will give enough information, but although it will become difficult. Important concept for T1 type of LR case lit that is based on your constant product now just suppose i am giving you one thinking point now just suppose if a into b into c into d equal to constant we have not gone any of the application in quantitative ability or it is not lr you you may be find questions based on product of four variable you may you may be find if question will be very tough any point of time if uh, some of the IEMs are setting the questions who are very famous to set the tough DILR question, they can set the question based on the four variable if product is constant. Then I am not denying, don't ignore it, you just keep on mind question 